Okay, this video is going to be on fishing carts for the beach. This particular picture right here is a cart I made a couple of years ago. Uh, I made a few of these. I made one for my dad, made one for myself, made one for my dad's friend. And uh, anyways, but uh, we can talk about this cart later. Uh, the most popular cart on the beach is uh, this fishing mate cart. And there's a, there's a bunch of different models out there, and there's a lot of different tires. And I just wanted to clear some things up from my own personal experience over the years with um, a lot of these different variations, mostly on the tires. The carts are great. You know, uh, I, I wouldn't look anywhere else but these fishing mates. But let's take... Uh, Let's take this one right here. Now, when Fish and Mate first came out, they, they didn't have any fancy soft tires. They just had the hard rubber black tires, which most of you probably have. And if you've never used a soft beach tire, I cannot tell you how easy it makes your job on the beach. I mean, if you've got uh, one of these uh, carts loaded to the max, and you're using the black rubber tires. Those black rubber tires, especially on soft sand, they're just going to plow. And you are going to have a tough time of it. So let's, uh, let's talk about these particular tires that Fish and Mate now offer on one of their carts, these orange ones. Uh, I wouldn't waste any time on these. These things, if you've ever touched one, especially on a hot, sunny day, I swear to God, you could probably put your finger through one. So don't ever entertain the idea of these because they are not worth their weight in salt. Uh, if, we, if we see what else Fish and Mate has here, uh, they also have one with gray tires, which really makes me scratch my head. You know, why would they offer both carts, one with orange and one with gray? Well, probably because they got so many complaints on the orange tires that they thought, well, hey, let's uh, let's come up with some gray tires. And they look just like the wheelies tires that are out there. And we'll talk about those later. And uh, so they offer these as well. And you know, I don't have any experience with these gray ones, but I can tell you right now that there are a lot of gray tires out there, and a lot of them are made across the pond, and they're just cheap knockoffs. I can tell just by looking at these rims that they're they're thin, they're flimsy, the axle doesn't even look like it's got a, a decent bushing in it. Uh, so, you know, uh, and let's talk about the cost, too. Let's go right back to the beginning here. You know, you've got this, uh, you've got this card here, and it's two hundred and ninety dollars plus your shipping. They've got a fixed cost there, and you know, we go to their uh, their gray cart. You know, the the gray tire cart. Okay, well that that's way more. You know, you're going to pay four nineteen, and for some reason, the uh, shipping is not automatic. Uh, it's not a flat rate, and if you do the math, uh, most people are fishing in Florida. So I did, I, I threw one in the cart and determined shipping, and halfway to Florida, you know, halfway down the state, I should say, by the time you had the shipping, it's uh, $40.66. So, you know, you got a grand total of $459 uh, before tax. So, uh, but, uh, and I wouldn't touch this tire. I really wouldn't. No offense, they, they make a great cart, but once they started to get involved with the tire aspect of it, uh, I, I just wouldn't get that cart with those tires. So you say, well, what are we supposed to do, you know? Well, uh, what you need to do is you need to get just their standard Fish and Mate cart with the hard tires, the ones I told you don't work very well. And there's a reason for this. Uh, that's the lowest price skew you're going to get is 236 and um, it's a flat rate on that, uh, 26.65. So that comes to 263.10 and you've got yourself the cart, uh, you know. And I, I think, personally, I think we can, uh, we can do better than that. So let's, let's do better than that. And let's say you already have a fish and mate cart. 
you know, let's say you've already got one and you're, you're like, wow, geez, I would like to get some of those Beats tires. Well, they sell the kits too at Fish and Mate and, you know, the axle is really small and thin and these tires, I, I just, I wouldn't touch them. Uh, I really wouldn't. Uh, buy your fishing carts there, but I would not get the tires there. So what you need to do instead of paying that 263 uh, is go to Walmart. You know, they got f free delivery, okay? And I'm sure they got free uh, pick up at the store, but uh, either way, you can get that same cart that retailed for 236, you can get it for 219, um, and it's uh, free delivery. So how can you go, go wrong there? Now, th this may expire over time, you know, after this video is a year or two old. Uh, but uh, anyways, get your cart as cheap as you can. Just make sure it is a fish and mate cart. And uh, another note, too, is, is make sure you get the large cart. You do not want the Fish and Mate Junior. Let's see if it shows a, a model number. Yeah, it does. The Fish and Mate 143 is otherwise known as the, the Senior Cart, the SR. You don't want the Junior, and there's a lot of reasons why. If you get the Junior Cart, it is way shorter. You're going to barely fit your 40-quart cooler, and that's it, where this senior cart is really cool. Uh, you can fit that and then you can also throw a bucket in here instead of small items and then load the bucket whatever. Uh, what I like to do is I like to stack a couple buckets and then throw my gear in that top one and then pull them apart when I get on the beach. But uh, so okay here we go we've got the cart at a decent price and now comes my recommendation for the tires and these things are the Cadillacs. You know, and, and keep in mind that the kit that you get from uh, from Fish and Mate is only like uh, nineteen dollars cheaper, and and these things are are tough, tough tires. They have awesome bushings in them. They've got uh, stainless bearings in them. And while I'm talking about the bearings, don't ever ever oil the bearings on these wheelies. You're just going to ruin it. And you're going to attract sand, but. Uh, you know, here's a kit here. It includes a 40-inch axle. It's got your two 16-and-a-half-inch uh, tires. These are these are really big. You know, they've got a huge payload capacity. I, I forget, but it's, uh, you know, well, let's see. Yeah, maximum payload, 260 pounds. You know, and I, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I think it is per tire. You know, so... Anyways, uh, this is the kit that you want to get with that 40-inch axle. Um, all right, so we've talked about that. Uh, you know, now what I want to talk about here is a, a few things that are going to help you. Uh, you know, this cooler here is a decent choice for those fishing mates because you know it's going to fit in there, no problem. Uh, no, it's uh, it's not one of these real high-end coolers. Those are usually a lot fatter and uh, the capacity is less inside and and these work just fine they got a drain too that's important to know um, so that's a that's a good choice right there that Coleman 48 right there um, here's a here's a nice web page here too at Beachcart USA now this fella he sells all sorts of different uh, parts and wheelies tires etc I don't know. I personally prefer go, to go right to wheelies.com and you know you're getting fresh tires. And keep in mind, those wheelies tires are all made in the USA. You know, it's all components made in the USA. Now, they may ship those components and uh, put them together over the pond, but the components are all USA, so you can take what you can get. But this is a neat uh, page here because it shows modified beach carts. This guy has put together a nice little web page here, and look at the URL if you have to. But uh, you go down through here, and it shows you what you need to get this thing on a, uh, you can tell that this is a fish and made cart, and it, it tells you all the parts you need. Let's say, well, you know, you want to do it yourself, and you want to, you want to buy your own axle. Well, you can, but keep in mind, this guy here is showing a one-inch axle. And if you go to buy the tires separately, 
at wheelies. Uh, wheelies does have a three quarter inch and a one inch axle for the tire sizes. So you gotta be careful, you order the right size tire. But uh, the, the kit with the axle just makes it so much easier. This guy has a 44 inch axle here and you're gonna end up lopping off uh, three or four inches anyway. So, But what I like about this web page is it shows you how to go about doing all this and it shows you the underside uh, when you're mounting your U-bolts to your fish and mate cart. And it's just a, it's a nice little tutorial showing you how to go about it if you want to do it yourself and you don't want to buy the kit. Uh, I will say too that, uh, I want to go back to my original picture here. You know, in the past, the, uh, the wheels on these fishing mates were a little bit more to center. And for some reason now, they're, they're putting them more towards the end of the cart. And I'm telling you, you you're better off trying to uh, mount your kit more in the middle of the cart, not at the end. And the beauty of that is, is you're going to load it up with all sorts of gear. And uh, you're not only going to be able to pull the cart, but sometimes I've found that it's easier to actually push the cart through the sand versus pulling it. So uh, keep that in mind uh, when you go to mount that is uh, you could uh, you could try to experiment and maybe duct tape the axle uh, to the frame and then test it around in your yard. Try pulling it, try pushing it, but these are mounted too far to the rear of the cart and it's going to make a tougher time for you. So uh, where were we here? Okay, so we looked at this website here from uh, from Beach Cart USA and uh, so that's cool. That's uh, something to look at. Uh, you know, here's some other cheap tires you're going to find. You know, if you read the reviews on half of these, they look like wheelies, but all they are is a harder plastic. And you got to remember the beauty of a wheelies tire uh, is it's a soft polyurethane tire. And the reason they go through the beach so well is because they conform to the sand. Anything that's hard, hard rubber or the black rubber ones that come on those carts, they don't conform to the sand at all. So what happens is, is they plow. And if you've used them, you know that, uh, you know, it's just, it's tons of muscle work. So uh, don't even bother looking at these thinking, hey, I can save myself a uh, hundred bucks or whatever, because you're just going to throw your money away. Uh, you know, all of these, unless they see wheelies on the side of the tire, just don't bother. And you're going to find a bunch of these. So, uh, and, and and here we are at the wheelies site, you know, uh, and it's just talking about the advantages. And you can tell by the rim here compared to some of those other uh, inferior products. These things are heavy duty. You can buy replaceable bearings. Speaking of the bearings, when you get them and you roll that bushing, it's going to seem a little rough. You know, not like a, a smooth bearing that you're, uh, you know, like a sealed bearing you're used to. Don't worry about that. That That's normal. They all do that. Just stick your axle through there and you're going to be good to go and never, never, ever oil them. You know, every maybe three years, four years, you're going to want to order a, a bearing kit. But, uh, and I think Be Beach Carts USA might offer those to try to get them at the best deal. But, uh, you know, you can get them, you can get the bearing kits right at uh, wheelies. So, um, and you know, on this recess valve, that's pretty important too, because some of those cheaper tires, they stick out a little bit. And if you catch it on a post on a fence, you're going by, well, you might ruin your tires. Um, and we're going to cover a few things there too. Um, you know, when you go to fill these wheelies tires, because it's a recessed valve, well, it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult, uh, you know, when you go to put your uh, your um, pressure fitting on there, your air fitting on there, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some of these things here. Uh, if I got a picture, uh, these are just valve extenders. And all you got to do is take one of those and screw it onto your... Uh, onto your fitting and now it's going to be a lot easier to connect your pump and get some air in there. And while we're talking about air, 
you know, you never want to run more than three pounds on these things. Three pounds PSI, that is it. If you run any more, you're going to endanger yourself. And trust me, I know my dad decided to uh, not only fill the tire, but he went to a regular uh, tire pump uh, where he lived for automobiles. And, well, the, the rest of the story is expensive. He overinflated them. It split a seam. And, you know, so you always want to use like a foot pump. And, you know, we can talk more about that. But to make the job easier, you're going to need some of these. You're going to need those, those extenders. Uh, and they're going to make your life a lot easier. So you got to get those, no doubt. And it looks like I've only got about 30 of these open. And, you know, the foot pump, you know, go to Harbor Freight, 10 bucks, throw it in your bucket just in case you had a slow leak or you picked up a leak on the beach. Now, I'll tell you, you know, I've, uh, I'm always careful when I'm walking on the beach. I don't want to roll over a piece of wood. You don't want to just fly down stairs these things or anything. You, you want to, you know, take care of the tires. But let's, God forbid, you had a leak on the beach. Put a little air in it and it'll get you back. And they, they do come with a repair kit. But for the most part, they're very durable tire. You know, those other orange ones and the other cheap gray ones, uh, you, you could pop a hole in those in probably a week. And um, I'm working on a pair right now that are over four years old. So um, the other thing you're going to need, too, is you're going to need an air gauge that will tell you when you're at three pounds PSI. Now, this is a, a nice gauge here, and it's affordable on Amazon, um, but it's uh, uh you got to make sure that it'll go down to zero, you know, so it's zero to 150 PSI. And this is the one I use. I use it for my car, too. And, you know, put them at 2.5, 3, 3 maximum. Uh, 2.5 might even be better. I really load my card up, so uh, I need a little bit more. And we'll show you a picture of my car when I get done here. But uh, anyways, uh, you know, here, we'll, we'll show you my card again here. I'm running 3 PSI because I've, I turned a, a, an electric wheelchair into a cart, and I got a lot more weight. I get the batteries, et cetera, you know. So, you know, I, I could probably get away with 2.5 if this was a, a fishing mate. So, um, anyways, we'll go back to our web page here. And I've got, also got some videos, too. Um, I've actually got one cart left, uh, when I first retired, the, the plan was, was for me and Pop to do uh, surf fishing every day. Well, he had other plans, you know. He left this world, and uh, so I had to take everything he taught me and put it to use. And uh, because I had made a cart for him, uh, you know, three years before he passed to help extend his fishing life. He was 82 when he passed away, but uh, I decided to use his cart. And uh, my wife has decided I do not need a hot spare in the garage. So I do have one for sale. I put a lot of time, a lot of money into it. I'm uh, looking for uh, 2000 for it. If you're, if you're interested, send me a comment and we'll, we'll get together somehow. But uh, anyways, uh, you know, that's it. That is, uh, that's, that's enough about the carts. And, and you say to yourself, well, how much is it going to cost me, you know, to buy that fishing mate from Walmart and then order my tire as well? You know, by the time you get that cart and then you get the axle kit and you pay the shipping on the axle kit the, is another $42 on top of the $319. Well, you're $580 into your cart. But how much do you enjoy fishing? And I will tell you, if you have never used those wheelies tires, you can put three times the amount of load and it will still be five times easier than those original black rubber tires. You know, if you find somebody on the beach, ask them if you can push their cart for a few feet and you'll see in soft sand, it is the only way to go. And uh, yep, you're definitely spending, uh, you know, 300 bucks more, but it's your hobby and you deserve it. So that's it for this video. I hope you've learned a lot. And uh, if you got any questions, you know, just uh, send me a message on the video, but that'll do it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe to my Pompano uh, Brownie channel. And that'll do it for this video.